2 has something next to it. Even though 1's an x, we're still going to count that. So O and A. Which one's O and A? That's tan. So we're going to do tan of equals. Now, tan of what? Tan of the angle. Inside the triangle, inside the parentheses. Inside the triangle, inside the parentheses. It's tan of an angle equals opposite over adjacent. Notice, this is why we went over cross-multiplying. How do we solve for x? I'm going to put this over 1 and cross-multiply. 1 times x is x. Tan of 45 times 5 is 5 tan of 45. 5 tan 45. And then the last thing I'm going to do is put it in the calculator. 5 tan of 45, you're going to be like weirded out by this, is 5. Tan of 45 is 1, and that's why this happened. All right. So the answer is 5. So what kind of triangle was this? This was actually a, an isosceles triangle, right? A 45 degree triangle. 45, it's a, those are, the, you could have probably figured out it was 5 if you thought about it. Okay, done. So that's this process. All right, number 4. All right, we got to figure out, can you see that? Let me zoom in a little. That's 30 degrees. Okay. That's a third. No, that's not. That's a, f I can't even read it on the screen. That's a 50, FYI. I'll write it over here. That's a 50 degrees. All right. That's a 50 degrees. All right, so let's label. Which sides do we have? I have my hypotenuse and I have my opposite. So O and H is what? That's your sine. So sine of equals sine of what? 50 inside the triangle, inside the parentheses. What goes on top? X over 11. Again, just cross, put it over 1 and cross multiply. 1 times X is X. Sine of 50 times 11 is just 11 sine of 50. Do not multiply the 11 times the 50. You cannot do that. The 50 is stuck inside the parentheses. And then I just put it in the calculator. Again, if your numbers are getting weird, check your mode. All right, 11 sine of 50. 8.43, nearest tenth. So that's one decimal, so 8.4. Okay. 8.4. Okay. If, you're mo if you got, hold on, let me show you what you get. If you got negative 2.886, that means your mode was wrong. So remember, I said this yesterday. Go to hit the mode button, and then go down, see radians. That should not be highlighted. We want degree highlighted. We're talking about degrees right now. Enter, and then to get out of there, hit the second button, and mode, because look, quit is right above it. Okay, and that brings you back. I hit it again. It's back in degrees. Okay. All right, next one, number five. Okay, that's a 72 if you can't see. That's a 72 degrees. All right, label. I have my hypotenuse. This is opposite. This is adjacent. So which one is that? That's your cosine. Cosine of equals... Notice I always write it the same way every time. What goes inside the parentheses? 72. A over H. Now this one's a little harder. The X is on the bottom. So I'm going to put this over 1 and cross and multiply. What's 1 times 2? 2 equals X times cosine of 72. So it's X cosine of 72. Now what are these doing? They're multiplying. What's the inverse of multiplying? Dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by cosine of 72. Okay. So x equals, and then I'm just going to put this in the, cal again, put that in the calculator. 2 divided by cosine 72. Okay. 2 divided by cosine 72. Now this is nice, you don't actually have to worry about parentheses or anything on the bottom here. So it's 6 point, again round to the nearest tenth, 
Is this 6.5 degrees? No, it's a length. It's the side of the triangle. It's not, we're not finding the angle right now. Okay, and we're done. All right, next two. Now in this one, what are we doing in number six? This is one where we're finding the angle. So this is back to what we did the other day, yesterday. We did these already today. So this time instead of a theta, I put an x in there, right? So which trig ratio do we use? We have our opposite and our adjacent. What is that? That's your tan. Tan of x equals O over A. How do you get it x? x is stuck in the parentheses. So we're going to do the inverse. So tan minus 1 of 12 over 5. I really recommend writing this out to prevent mistakes. Okay, a lot of students freak out. They, when they learn to find the side, they can't find the angle anymore. All right, so again, we're doing the inverse. So second tan, we got tan minus 1, 12 divided by 5. 67.4, 67.4 degrees, okay, all right, last one like this, number seven, all right, what are we given now, so this is my H, and this is my O, that's a 43 FYI, so O and H is what? That's your sine. So sine of equals. What goes in the parentheses? The angle.